After months of perfecting our animal spotting skills, it was time to take on a multi-day self-drive adventure through Africa's most famous national park, Kruger. We will be spending three days camping inside Kruger National Park whilst driving ourselves. Stay tuned for some of the most incredible animal sightings we've witnessed to date, from leopard kills to being chased by elephants. And as always, we will be telling you everything you need to know to do this yourselves. Today we are off to Kruger National Park. We're going to be doing a self drive for three nights and four days. My friend from home Seb is with us, so you'll meet him very shortly. We're currently in Maputo in Mozambique and we are about to head off to the border to get back into South Africa. So, if you're interested in how you can do Kruger on a budget, then keep watching. Right, Kruger. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All of the gates have got these sighting boards, so we're just checking out what's been seen. We are down here, we're coming in at the Madeleine Gate. We're going all the way up here to Skakuza and then down here to camp for the night. So we've got a full loop. So this is the whip for the next four days. This is Sev. Hello. <laughs> we've got a third traveller with us for the Straggler. Straggler for the next Let's four days. <laughs> Sighting number two, Ellie's. Oh, and now we've got some zebra. Oh, bless you. There are the elephants, and look at the kingfisher above the elephant to the left in the tree. Fight, fight, fight. Go on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my god. And they're gonna fight again. Trying to eat. Uh, yeah. They're eating the car. Mm. Mm. Trying out the tyres. Not the tyres. Oh, maybe it's the tyres. Don't do that. Hey, buddy. Oh my god. Guys, this is nuts. Done it guys, high five, <laughs> can't see, <laughs> day done, we have just made it to lower safety camp, how was it, incredible, amazing day, finished off with the baby hyenas, saw like what, like a hundred elephant, like lost count in the end, tomorrow we're gonna go find the cats, oh we saw the wild dogs, we saw the wild dogs, To our rest camp, we've just come down for some dinner, and it's a full blown restaurant overlooking the river, which is really, really cute. Yeah, <laughs> don't get done by the little <laughs> 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 
This is our humble abode for the night. We've got three single beds. We've got a sink, fridge, and some cupboards and stuff. We've got some towels, and the toilets and showers are like just a short walk away, but hot water, pretty clean. So yeah, pretty good. So we're staying at Lower Sabi Rest Camp and we paid £30 each, so £90 in total for this room, which has three single beds. We also paid £20 per person for our national park fees for today. And we did a big shop before we came here. We spent about £100 on water and snacks and stuff like that and some breakfast stuff and some lunch stuff. And then we paid about £12 each for dinner here at the restaurant, which was really nice. So all together, that is 30 plus 20 plus 12 which is £62 for our first day. An amazing day it was at Kruger. And now we will go to bed and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. So day two of our road trip around Kruger, up around five. It's now half five. Gates open in February at half past five. So we are getting out of here. Pretty good night's sleep, apart from the load shedding, which meant it was really hot for a couple of hours. But you can kind of see a bit of the camp behind me. It's really, really pretty. Yeah, now time to go find some lions and leopards. Morning. Good morning. Let's get to see cats. <laughs> what have we got? We've got a whole herd of elephants in the road. They're all just eating off the side. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You can see at least 19 right now. Oh, look at the tiny one. See it? That's, that's fresh. This has got to be two herds. It might, this might just be all the young lads, like. There's so many, though. Running around at the back. Yeah, but you've got to remember these are the big herds. Look at that. illegal to get out of your car in Kruger so don't do it. You're not allowed to get out of your car in like non-designated zone. This is not a designated zone? No, there's like fenced bits I think. Oh right. They're in lines here anyway, can't find them. At least we're not on video doing it. <laughs> we're trained. <laughs> here we have the sleeping lioness on the back of the Daxter. And we have just come from a sighting of a pack of our dogs, hyena and two bow lions, although it wasn't the best sighting of the so close. So now we've got some intel and we're off to try and find three lions. It's a lift with like to tell us. Oh, oh, the lion. We have got three lions. Three lions. She's on the move. So we just got here and had three lions on our own for a little while, and now loads of cars have turned up. So we got super lucky, and they basically walked right to the car and then passed us. It is 11 a.m. We've been out for about five hours. We had a bit of a stop, and we have seen already, we've had five lions, pack of wild dogs, hyena. Hippo on land, ground hornbill. We got chased by an elephant. Um, there was like a whole herd of like 30 elephants. What else? And then just a load of game. And loads of amazing birds as well. The birds in Kruger are absolutely crazy. So these three lionesses have just got up. We know that there is a lot of food down the road because we just drove past it. Who knows, maybe they'll go hunting or maybe they'll just go find somewhere where there's not a load of cars and they'll go for a sleep. Seen? What haven't we seen? Oh, we haven't seen a leopard, you're right. <laughs> uh, we've seen two beautiful male lions, one of which we got a beautiful face on shot. 
thanks to Liv's fantastic spotting. We've seen a number of, uh, or we've seen lots of wildebeest, buffalo, cake buffalo, we've seen a number of those. A really big herd from far away and a maybe two or three from really quite close up, usually bathing in mud to cool themselves down. Where are we? Just stopped for our lunch at another rest camp, kind of. We're at the Shakwane. <laughs> it's a Shakwane. We bought lunch today, so we've got a little chicken chicken pie and Seb's got meatballs. I don't know how much it costs. This was seven quid for a coffee. Lovely meatballs. How are your meatballs? Oh, pretty nice. Yeah, nice. And yeah, two chicken pies. Seven quid total? Yeah, yeah. this was 42 wow. rand. Repeat what you just said. <laughs> no, it's not appropriate for the vlog. However, what is appropriate for the vlog is so far our top three recommendations for actually finding the animals. So, number one are the sighting boards at the main gates and at all of the rest camps and lunch spots. Number two is if you go to any of the rest camps or spots, then ask some of the rangers that are there on guided tours. They've given us some really great tips on where to head. And then our third is to download both the Kruger app and the latest sightings app. You will need data or you can just kind of log in on Wi-Fi and it some people log what they've seen and you can kind of see and yeah the sightings have been great for us and download the kruger google maps offline and get the maps offline yes that doesn't really help with the animals but that doesn't help with the animals at all but you know but it does help you to not get lost you know where you're going and yeah and that's pretty much our top three tips for finding anything here because everything's very hidden lewis the explorer we also really need to update you on this, so check out this lion footage. This was like, they were like 20, 30 metres from the car at best and we could only see two and everyone knew that there were three lions. And this guy was outside of his car taking photos and videos of the bloody lions, like... I was actually going to say, whereas as we drove up and we were looking for the lions, we saw this dude stood out of his car and we all went, oh, well, they can't be there because this guy's out of his car. And then we got a little bit closer and we're like, oh no, they're right there. Yeah, like we thought it must be in parlor or something. And he's literally out of his car taking photos of three lions. So if you come to Kruger, stay well in the car when seeing lions. Super casual. as well. Stunning. Yes, queen. Oh, Whoa, That's we so just gross. had a really cool encounter with the lions. The lady lions, they were sat for ages. Well, they're still sat there now, next to someone's car, just chilling up next to it. So yeah. On the car on the car 45 minutes until we need to be inside our camps so we're going to go see what else we can find that's nuts they said three cups right Wasn't enough because we are nutters. We're going on two more hours in the dark to find the leopard, and then I'm out of bed. <laughs> so on night drive, we mostly concentrate on nocturnal animals, animals that you cannot see if you do your own driving during the day. Animal like your porcupine, general cat, with the addition of the big five. In the park, you're not permitted to drive alone after 6.30 p.m. So for night drives, you pay at your camp for a guided drive, which is a nice change after a long day in the car. And luckily for us, we immediately found the female lions and their cubs again, before we finally saw the animal we have wanted to find the whole time. Oh, his eyes are open. I've got it on video. Guys, it's done. What a day. We've just finished the night drive. We had two ish years. 
two, I mean we had Valeria as well, two female lions in the row, then we had a leopard with all these hyenas around the base of a tree and had a kill, and then we just went back and we saw the two female lions again with the three cubs in the road, having a drink of water, what a day. Unreal. Incredible. So Co stay tuned, oh wait. Costs. We paid yeah, costs. another £20 per person national park fees, we paid £7 total for three of us to have lunch. We paid £34 for all three of us to have dinner. And that's it, right? Oh, well, and, and tonight's camp. The, the, the night drive was 300 rand, so it's about 15, 15 pounds. pounds. And then the camp here, so we're at, what's this one called? It's called Satara. 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 <laughs> I don't have the price off the top of my head. Slightly more expensive. I think it works out at about 35 to 40 pounds each per night for the bungalow. Plus the, no, that was plus the camping fees. Stay tuned, we'll tell you more tomorrow. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Hey! <laughs> Hello. Get those overnights on. Come on. Those overnights. Bit of breakfast. Here it is. It's all incredibly blurry because we're here at like we're checking in at 11 p.m. Legends. But here it is. The Dream Palace. One, two, three. Bit of aircon. Little rack. And we've got a private bathroom tonight. Get in there. Come on. Time for that enormous shower. Oh. And then bed. And then bed, yeah. <laughs> see you all again in the morning for at 5.30 because we're going back to see the leopard. driving on our way to hopefully find a cheetah and we've come face to face with definitely the largest bull elephant I have ever seen in my life. It's enormous, like noticeably, <laughs> noticeably bigger than any other bull elephant we've ever seen. <laughs> like the presence on the road is insane and he was walking straight towards us, we pulled over to the side, trying to give him some space, turned off the engine and yeah, he just came closer he and was closer. Yeah, he ended up at the window. Big, all I could see were his tusks. At that point. Just, <laughs> we were literally level with like I don't know if they have knees, but like yeah. he's like kneecap. So much bigger oh than the car. Oh my god! So much bigger than the car. And Lewis just goes, I think I'm gonna have to turn the engine on. <laughs> <laughs> and we move, and just as we move, he oh. like he kind of he didn't go for us, he, but he, he gave he us a sign. Did you watch yeah, him piss? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he pissed. No, he he like he gave us the like. I'm boss. Move and yeah, my heart still just he is here. He's here. If you can see him on the camera, we can see him. He's right there. Oh, don't really get a sense of the same sense of size. That was something. Yeah. That that was something epic. Thanks for the interview, guys. Incredible. So we have seen a leopard in the daytime, we're just looking at some elephants and then Lewis was like oh my god what's that in the road and it was a leopard, we've just spent the last half an hour trying to find out where it went, Seb then saw it again in the grass but we didn't get another really good sighting of it, I think it was quite scared of us but that was pretty cool, our first own sighting of a cat and it was a leopard so that's pretty scary. So guys, that is it. Kruger is done. Today was just a drive. Our final camp was Crocodile Gate. We got there super, super late. So nothing to report. It's right by the exit. And now we are back at Maputo and we are saying goodbye to our good friend, Seb. Thanks for joining us, Seb. <laughs> it's, been, it's been amazing. His debut. Let us know in the comments if you want to see Seb feature again. Maybe he'll come join us for some diving in say Egypt. Yes. But thoughts on Kruger? I'm real. Incredible. I can't wait to, can't wait to return. Yeah. So yeah. good. Amazing. Self-drive, yeah. epic. The self-drive experience is really cool. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, go, go on. on. I was going to say, something to add is you don't have to do self-drive entirely. You can drive through a bit, go to the resting camps, and then like book on for other drives so you can mix it up. Yeah. Uh, we did a couple of guided night drives as well, which were great. So yeah, all in all, Kruger was fantastic. We saw six of the big eight missing the rhino and missing the cheetah. So we're going to have to come back and find them next time. Any final words? Um, we'll give you a full cross breakdown. 
now. Okay, so doing Kruger on a budget, we're self-driving and we are camping in the park for three nights. First things first, we've hired a beautiful Renault Duster that cost us £480 from Maputo. And then we are staying at three different camps. So we're staying at Lower Sabi, Satara, and then Crocodile Gate. We have a hut for three people each night. And that came to around about £110 each. So just under 40 quid a night per person. And that includes all of our entrance fees as well. And if you like what we do here, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, share with your friends, share with your family, uh, turn on those notifications, and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Huh? So we've got to our rest camp and we've just come down for some dinner. I'm really blurry. So this is our humble abode for the night again, blurry. Okay. Okay. We're actually at the... <laughs>